Dates are very good for brain functioning because they have potassium. Then we have here, what do we have here? Cranberries. Cranberries are very antibacterial. They're good for UTIs, for example. Kiwis are good for strengthening the hydrochloric acid. So if you have any kind of bloating, kiwis are your best friend. Grapes are really good for the kidneys, for example. Avocados are good for the skin and for the intestinal lining. Lemons are really good for the lymphatic system. They have calcium, it's good for the bones, good for the teeth. If you drink lemon water on an empty stomach in the morning, detoxifies your liver. Broccoli is good for the bones, for example, it's good for athletes. Asparagus is really nice. Asparagus is amazing for the liver, has lots of silica, which is good for your connective tissue. And asparagus also has an antioxidant called glutathione, which is also really great. Brussels sprouts and leeks, they have a sulfur, both of them, which is really good for inflammation in the joints. If you have RA, it's amazing for that. Our beloved celery, celery juice, amazing for strengthening the hydrochloric acid, the liver, the bile, and for neurotransmitter chemicals because it has sodium cluster salts that restore neurotransmitter chemicals. That's really amazing. We have apples, and apples are really great for the Brain. They're good for brain inflammation and apples also contain anthocyanins. That's why the apples are red. The anthocyanins are really good for digestive strength and have anti-obesity properties. Who would have thought that all of these fruits and vegetables have so many powerful properties?